What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome. And today I want to talk about really one of the joys of making art or, or being an artist, I should say. And it's, it's, this is going to be called It's Deeper Than Art. All right. Now, many of you know, or some of you don't know, I'm an artist, you know, drawing, painting, sketching, things of that nature. And I draw every day. Every single day, I draw. And when I draw, you know, I don't really expect it to have the effect that it does. Maybe that's because I'm so used to, I mean, I've been drawing all my life. Literally all my life. And I'm self-taught. You know, when, when, when things are when things come easy to you, you never really take it as serious as somebody else who, who sees what you do and they're just shocked by it. I mean, I take my work serious, but, you know, when, I, when I'm drawing, the thought in my mind of someone just going absolutely crazy about the drawing never crosses my mind, right? So when... I upload something and I see the response that it gets it 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 blows my mind I it, 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 it literally just it leaves me speechless at times because the way some people the way some people perceive art is almost like magic when you see someone take an idea that no one else can see and then you physically put it into existence and the detail, the time it takes, it's almost like magic. So when people see it, their mind is just blown because they're wondering how can someone take the environment and replicate it in a matter of minutes, right? So, when I see that, and I see the joy that it brings people, to me, it's not just, I mean, I mean, I mean to me, to some people, it's just you no know, lines on paper or color, but to me, it's deeper than that. It's deeper than art for me, because not only does art make others feel good or make others just feel something in general but it also makes me feel even when I'm drawing something or when I'm painting something when as I'm going through the process of creating and I see the work that I'm um, that I put into it it's deeper than art for me because the same effect that someone else has seeing my work I also feel that same thing. Like, uh, the day before yesterday, I did a drawing of someone who is well known, and when, as I was drawing it, you know, I didn't think, I mean, I drew this person because I thought it would just, just be a cool drawing, and also it would be a challenge to draw the person, because I, I have, I have uh, certain rules, like with me. When I'm drawing something, I make it a point never to draw the same person or same thing twice. Unless it's called for, unless it's like a commission or something like that. I make it a point to never draw the same thing twice or the same person twice. So, all the drawings I have are one of one, of a person or a place or a thing. <sighs> Anyway, I was drawing this, drawing this person, and I didn't think about, you know, the effects of it afterwards. So, when I finished the drawing, and I uploaded the drawing, and all my social media sites and all that, within a matter of minutes, I was getting comments and likes from the drawing. People were impressed by it. 
then soon after that, the actual person, the actual subject, the person themselves saw the drawing I did, and they commented. I said, wow, this is cool, really cool. And they were so happy by what I drew that they wanted to share it with their fan base on all their social media sites. I said, cool, that's fine with me. I got no problem with that at all. That's, that's, there's more eyes to see my work, so I'm fine with that. But what really touched me was the person, it was a young, young lady, the young lady had uh, commented and said that she was having a rough week. She was having a pretty rough week, right? And I guess she wasn't in a good frame of mind throughout that whole week. She, but when she saw the drawing, it immediately changed her mind. It it, 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 it gave her thoughts a 180. Okay? It went from negative to positive within a matter of moments. And when the young lady wrote on her page and said, you know, that, that this was really, really special to her. It made me feel overjoyed because, you know, you, you never really know what effect you have on someone. You know, you, you never know the actions that you take, how it affects other people. You never know that something you can say or something that you can do, can, you don't know what kind of effect that can have on a person. You know, somebody can be having a, a bad day or a bad week, and you do something, not with the intention of making them happy, but you really doing something just for yourself, just for your own personal gratification. But doing that particular action that was bringing you gratification, it brought them more gratification because they weren't expect they weren't expecting it. They weren't expecting for you to do a drawing of them or give them a compliment or give them some kind of praise. They just going about their day, you know, just you know, living their day, living their week, you know, doing what they gotta do. And then all of a sudden somebody comes out of nowhere who you don't know, they don't know you. I probably will never see this young lady in life. You know, we probably will never meet. She don't know me. I don't know her. Well, I, mean, I know her by name because of her platform. But I don't know her personally. And she don't know me. She never seen me before. But the way she felt after I uploaded the drawing changed her mindset. And that just shows you that Sometimes it's deeper than you know. You know, you know people say it's deeper than rap. Well, sometimes it's deeper than art. You know, you you never know. And this is kind of going on to all the artists out there of all of all kinds, writers, you know, drawing, things of that nature. You know, you never know the effect that you have on people that you probably will never meet. And when you see their reaction to your art, not only does it do good for them, but it actually does more for you. Because you're thinking to yourself, wow, my simple drawing or my simple singing or my simple writing, my simple acting, Gave someone a feeling that they will never forget. Because once that feeling happens, it is there forever in that person's mind. No matter how many times, you know, they go throughout their day, 
they can always reflect back to that moment where you as the artist had some of the most profound effect on them that they've ever experienced. But all you did was just go throughout your day performing your art. But what you don't what you may not realize is that your art can literally change someone's life. It's deeper than art. It's deeper than paint and it's deeper than pencil. It's deeper than, you know, markers and canvas and paper and dancing is deeper than that art heals you know my drawing or your singing or your poetry or your dancing or your acting can heal someone can heal someone how I don't know I don't know how it how no art can heal but from my own experience art has the power to change existence. Whatever life you have, whatever life you're living, whatever mind state you have, when you introduce a certain perspective through the arts, like I always say, art simply means skill. The word art means skill. Right? It means skill. It means something that something that you were trained in. You may have you may have a natural inclination, a natural ability to perform a task, but the skill comes when you perfect that natural ability. When you are you are in the pursuit of perfection in that particular field. And you understand what certain dance moves can do. You understand the power of certain words and certain lines you say and certain scenes and certain dances and certain colors you use and certain lines that you use. You under When you understand the power of that, that's when you really tap into the essence of art. Art heals. Art can heal a person both physically and mentally my belief. And when you see, when you come face to face, when you as the artist, when you as the performer, come face to face with the effects that your art has on someone that you may never see in your life, and you see the profound positive change in their life, the total change in perspective, when you see what, the, what your little bit of lines can do, when, with your little bit of color, and your little bit of your little bit your little bitty dance move, your small dance move or your small poem, that one line in a poem that changes somebody's mind totally, then you will realize that it's deeper than art. It's it's it, it, it's deeper than art. It's deeper than art. It's deeper than rap. It's deeper than acting. It's deeper than dance. It's deeper than poetry. It's deeper than that. It's deeper than art. And when you see, when you when you come face to face with that reality, what also happens is you want to see how many more people you can affect with that art. How many people, now that you know the effect that you have on people, how many more people can I affect with my art? How many more souls can I touch? How many more minds can I change when it comes to my art? Because now I have visual physical, tangible proof that my art is more than just lines on paper. It's more than just cross-hatching and shading and sketching and painting. It's more than that. Those lines, those colors, those paints, those shading, the, the shading, the cross-hatching, 
in combination, in some form of form, some combination, some kind of combination and variation, and then put out into the world. The moment someone sees it, immediately something happens to them. And some people are so compelled when they see it that they just want to share it with other people. <coughs> when someone sees your work and it affects them so deep, it it gets into them to the point where they just got to tell somebody else that this thing right here has changed me. I want you to see this too. Maybe it'll change you like it changed me. That, that, that person you heard sing, that when they sung a certain note, or when they just sung a song, and they hit a certain note in that song that hit you so deep, you're like, man, I got to share this. I, I want other people to feel how I feel. When this person sang this song and hit that note just the way they hit it, that only they can do, I got to share this. I have to share this. Because that, that form of art hit me so deep that I got to say something. I got to show this. I got to share this. I gotta, this art hit me so deep that I got I to gotta get in contact with the actual artists who performed this and ask them, how in the world did you do it? How did you do this? How in the world did, did, did you learn how to do this? Because what you are doing is so magnificent that, it's, that my mind cannot comprehend how you can take the environment around you and within a matter of moments recreate it or take the environment around you and within a matter of moments, come up mentally with a brand new idea never seen before. How did you do that? How did you do that? It's like magic. When you see somebody perform magic for the first time, and the magic is so good, it is so convincing, that you're saying to yourself, how in the world can this person conjure up these mystical, magical abilities and perform them right here and now and perform them to a point where it is utter mastery where my brain can't comprehend how they did it. It's deeper than art, y'all. It's deeper than art. So to all the artists who may feel discouraged at times, the dancer who just just can't get that simple move right, the the poet who is you know, toiling away, burning the midnight oil, so to speak, and they're just trying to come up with the right words to express a certain emotion that they have at that particular time, that actor who is trying to get that, that line right, that scene right to the point where they, they, they can say it inside out. That artist who is painting, you know, just painting and just getting out how they feel in the form of paints and pencils and markers. You may not see the effects of your work now. You may not. And it may take some time. It may take days. It may take months. It may take days, weeks, months, even years for others to see your work and feel as deeply as you feel about it. And then one day you may you may put out some artwork that you don't think nothing of. You just say, I'm just going to put this artwork out and just put it out. You know, and you don't think nothing of it. And then all of a sudden, just out of the blue, just randomly, just on a regular, regular, random day, regular, random time of day, that piece of art that you put out into the world, somebody sees it. Somebody sees it, and for some reason, 
they can't take their eyes off of it. They can't get away from this art that you have given to the world. And all they do is look at it and say, how? What is he doing? Wait, what, what is this? Man, this is cool. Who is this? Who is, who, what brain came up with this? How did this person come up with this art? What is this? And they may, they may, then, then, then randomly they could say, you know what? I got to share this because this is too good to keep to myself. See, when, when something, when you know, people, you know, people always say, when you have something good, keep it to yourself. Well, the actuality, that's not really how that goes. Usually, when you have something good or when you find something good, usually you tell others. That's basically what social media is. When you have information, you don't keep information to yourself. When you have information on a particular subject, or when you come across certain information or certain ideas, and it is so profound to you that your brain is just in awe of it, the natural impulse will be, I must share this. That this thing that I've come across is so good, is so compelling, is so interesting, is so provocative that I must share this. I can't help myself. I must share this. So when you have an artist draw something that when they put it out and then somebody sees it and it is so good to them, they will say, this is so good. I must share this. It's so good. I can't help myself. I must tell others. Same thing with food. When, when, when you, you come across some good food or a good restaurant or a good movie, you don't say, oh, I just seen this new movie that is absolutely amazing. Let me keep it to myself. Let me not tell anybody else about this absolutely amazing movie that I saw. You come across a restaurant they got some bomb food. You don't say, oh, well, I, I had this awesome, spectacular meal at this awesome, spectacular restaurant. Let me keep it to myself. Nobody says that. The first thing they do is they say, man, let me tell you about this. Or, girl, let me tell you about this. This movie is awesome. This restaurant is awesome. This drawing is awesome. Let me, tell, let, let me put you on to this person, this place, this thing that has in some form or fashion changed my life. And then one tells two, two tells four, four tells eight, eight tells 16, 32, 64, 128, all that stuff. Before you know it, spread out. It's deeper than art. Just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. It's deeper than art. Deeper than art. Okay? Just want to put that in your ear. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch y'all later. Peace.